So let's see first problem we are going to solve. Log of 3125 base root 5. So root 5 means 5 power 1 by 2, right? And 3125, how can you express 3125 as a base 5? And here you should learn something. 5 power 1, you know, it is 5. 5 square, it is 25. 5 cube, if you see, and it will be how much? 5 cube is 125. If you see 5 power 4, 625. 5 power 5, how much is this? Well, let's multiply 625 with one more 5. 5 fives are 25. So you must have habited to do calculations. Don't hesitate these calculations. You have to make it. 5 twos are 10, 10 and uh, 2, 12, 1. 30 and 31. So you can get 5 power 5 is 3125. Every time if you perform this kind of calculations, after some time, you know how much is 5 cube, you know how much is 5 power 4. You know these numbers because you already so many times you did these problems. So that's why every time, whether it is first time or 10th time, often perform these calculations. That's the best thing. Um, that you can uh, familiar with the calculation. So here I am going to use the formula. So what is the formula that will help us to solve this problem? The formula was log x power m base a power n. Can you tell me what is the rule? So these powers, what, uh, what are the powers you are observing here? It will be m by n log x base a. Am I right? Understood this? Two, look at this power become numerator. Input power become numerator and base power should be denominator. And the remaining things are same. Look at this x will be same it's as its position and base a is also as its uh, position. So using the same rule, 5 divided by 1 by 2, log 5, base 5. And this 2 is going to multiply this 5. So 2 5s are 10. And you see one more formula here I'm going to use. So formula soften I will make with red color. And log A, base A. So you can see log A, base A was 1. Why log a base a was 1? Because we know that rule that log x base a can be written as log x by log a. And here, while you are doing logarithms, the base will be 10, remember. While you are doing other topics, except logarithm, other topics, all other topics, calculus, trigonometry, whatever you are doing, their logarithm base will be base E. And if you are performing or doing calculations in logarithmic topic, the base value will be base 10. Okay. So according to this property, log A base A can be log A by log A. So it cancelled, we got one. So if you have uh, same value, look at this 5, and this 5 are same, its value is 1. So therefore, the answer for the first problem was 10. So of course, it is not MCQ type of problems. So practicing problems. Understood this one? Next, we are moving to next problem. Problem 1, 2. So log uh, 0 0.2401 base 0 0.343. Uh, so let's see what happens. How can I make this possible? So log, uh, what I am doing is 2401. 
टू फोर जीरो वन इट सीम्स इट्स द पावर्स ऑफ समथिंग सो सेवन पावर वन इज सेवन सेवन पावर टू इज फोर्टी नाइन सेवन पावर थ्री इज इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई विथ सेवन हाउ मच इज दैट सेवन नाइन आर सिक्सटी थ्री फोर सेवन ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी एट एंड सिक्स थर्टी फोर सो थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टी थ्री ओके एंड नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी कैन मेक सेवन पावर फोर आल्सो That means again we have to multiply three hundred forty-three with seven. Seven threes are twenty-one. Two here, one here. Seven fours are twenty-eight plus two thirty. Zero. Seven threes twenty-one plus three. Twenty-one plus three is twenty-four. So of course this two four zero one you can write two four zero one by ah uh, one after four dis ah uh, four zeros. And three hundred forty-three, which is in the base, which was as a base, three zeros. And so, so you can write this one as seven power four two four zero one. Seven power four by ten power four as input, and three hundred forty-three as seven power three divided by ten power three. So that means, so it can be written as seven by ten whole power four base as seven by ten whole power three. And therefore, you can see the powers. We already know that property. Uh, so what are the overall powers? Overall powers are seven and three. You can move these powers as a logarithmic equations. So log seven by ten, base seven by ten. If the things input and base are same, it will be one. Whatever the base, whatever the base means, uh, it's a defining uh, atmosphere. It will be one. So four by three will be the answer. Next, uh, you can solve the third problem. i will give you dpp on dpp solve it and uh, let us solve this uh, fourth problem fourth one log uh, 5832 base log 5832 with the uh, square root Three into root two, with square root three into root two. It's not cube root. It's a three into square root. Is it? Yeah, it's a three into root two. Now we will solve this problem. Uh, log three root two. Whole power, it's a square root, so whole power of, and it will be five eight three two. Now we required to express this five eight three two as a power of three root two. Let me check uh, how many times of three root two will give us this five eight three two. Okay, let's count. Three root two power one. We know it is three root two only. Three root two power two. Three square is nine. Root two square is two. Nine two is are eighteen. So three root two power three. Three cube is twenty seven, and root two cube is two root two. Of course, it is. Fifty-four root two, two. Okay, and next, what should we do? So three root two power four, three power four is eighty-one. Root two power four is how much? Two square four. So if you calculate, 
four eights are thirty to three hundred twenty four. Three root two power definitely it should not be power five. So I am going with the power six because even powers because it does not have any root along uh, in this number five eight three two. So that's why I am only checking the even powers. Okay. So three power six is how much? Three power six. Let me calculate three power six is how much. Three power six is three power four eighty one eighty one nine seven hundred twenty nine, and multiplied by two cube eight. So let's do multiplication. Nine eights are seventy two. Uh, seven in your mind. Seven twos are sixteen plus seven. Sixteen plus seven. Uh, twenty three. Two in your mind. Seven eights are fifty six. Fifty six to fifty eight. So five eight three two we got. So therefore, from this calculation, we understood that log three root two always understood estimate. How can you express this number with the as base of look of how what is uh, what you are observing here? The same base you should express. That is the technique here. Very easy to understand. Okay, so three root to two whole power six. So as we know that uh, <clears throat> the powers become cohesion. So one by two whole divided by six. Look at this power become numerator, and this power base power should be in the denominator. And now after uh, the powers become cohesions of this logarithm. So what you see as input three root two and as a base three root two. If they are same, then its value will be one only. So one by two six are twelve into one. So therefore the answer is one by twelve. Okay, in this way you can solve this kind of problems. And now uh, fifth problem. You can see fifth problem seven power log five. 7 power log 5 base 9, 7 power log 5 base 9 minus 5 power log 7 base 9. Actually, it looks like a property, this property, right? So this is what called the base change rule. So I am mentioning the property here. If logarithm was given to you as a base. So what you can do, that's your choice. If you want to do or not to do, that's your decision. So you can change this X and A together with their places. You can exchange their places. So I am replacing A with X and X place will be given to A like this. You can do that. As you wish, if you want to do that. That means these numerical values are same. That is the meaning of that. It's not just a base change rule. So numerical values are equal. So of course, you can see here, this 5 and 7, if you exchange, that, that is the only way you can do, you can perform here. Okay, so 5 log 7 base 9 minus, I am not changing the next number. If you change the next number, still you are in trouble. Uh, look at this. Now both are looks like same. You can cancel them and zero will be the answer. If you change the next number also, what you are getting, tell me. You are getting again same problem. So both, quantity wise, both are equal. So that's what they cancel and got zero. And next number also looks like same. So uh, try this problem. Okay, next uh, I will give you in DPP and answer this problem. Next, uh, I'm moving to seventh one. Log uh, under square root 3, 3, 3, 3 and so on. Let's solve this. Seventh problem. Log uh, square root 3, square root 3, square root 3 and so on. Infinity. So, how can we solve this problem? Uh, let us suppose, first we will consider, 
x is equal to square root 3, square root 3, and square root 3, and so on, infinity. Let's do whole square on both sides. If x square is equal. So let's, if you do perform x square, then first square root will be cancelled and rest of the square roots will be still uh, there, right? So x square is equal to 3 into, you can, you can write this entire remaining part of the quantity as x because the terms are infinite terms is there. Of course, if it is uh, rather than infinite, if they are finite, then you are uh, you can't write x if they are infinite so that you can write you can again express as x and uh, both of the sides xx got cancelled so the value should be 3 so of course you understood that this entire value is equal to 3 simply answer this entire value will be 3 so let me see the problem yeah of course log 3 will be the answer of this question okay and next problem you can solve it because actually here you can see the finite number of threes exist how many threes one two three four okay let's see what happens if finite numbers are given to you as a next problem so the question is four threes are given along with square root Only finite number of square roots are mentioned. This is the next problem. So how can you solve this? So let us suppose we are keeping root 3 same. We are keeping root 3 same. Okay. And let's find out uh, this number. So see carefully. The first 3 has only one square root so that you can write 1 by 2 because it is only having one root. Next, observe the second 3. How many roots it was covered by? 2 roots. Yes or no? So 2 roots covered, right? So write down 1 by 2, again 1 by 2. Fine. Next, moving to third 3, it was covered by, you can count, uh, it was visible to you. Three roots are covered. So, 1 by 2, power 1 by 2, again power 1 by 2. Okay. And the fourth root, you know that it was covered by all roots. All roots means, of course, four roots it was covered. Like this. Don't be panicking, very easy. So log root 3, we are keeping this uh, 3 um, up for some time. So 3 power of, you can see here, 3 power 1 by 2 into 1 by 2, because uh, we know that rule, a power m whole power n, it will be a power m into n. So that means you can multiply together. So it will be 1 by 4. For the third 3, it will be 1 by 8. Don't think that it is uh, 1 by 6. 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. All 1 by 2s are multiplied. 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8. And of course, the last value will be 1 by 16. Look at the bases are in multiplication, right? The input bases are all in multiplication so that you can sum the all the powers 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus. 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 and under square root 3. Okay, now we will do LCM. So log the 16 will be the LCM and it is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 and 3 power of. We learned already that powers will, okay, let's uh, give me one minute. We can finalize these powers, how much it is. 
8 plus 2, of course, 10 plus 15 upon 16. And this is 3 power 1 by 2. Now you can move these powers as a coefficient. So 5, 15 upon 16 by 1 by 2. So log 3 base 3. Log 3 base 3. You can see 2 and 16 got cancelled. 2 and 16 got cancelled means 15 out of 8. And log 3 base 3 was 1. Log 3 base 3 was 1. So, therefore, the answer is 15 upon 8. Log, log base 3, log base 3, log ninth root 3, 27. Uh, we will solve step by step. Log base log base 3 log base 3 and uh, here you can write 27 as 3 cube. And you know it is 3 power 1 by 9. Because of 9th root, you can write like that. And therefore, it is log base 3, log base 3. So, here you can see we have some powers of this logarithm. Only this logarithm, the input and base, and uh, it has some power. So, you can move the powers of that logarithm like this. <clears throat> okay. Log 3 base 3. Only this logarithm uh, as a coefficient you should write these numbers. Okay. So remember this point. Log 3 base 3 was 1 and log base 3 log base 3. This 9 and 3 again it will be 3 cube, this part. This part is 3 cube, right? So again, you can see powers. Look at this power. And of course, 3 means it has only power 1. So therefore, log base 3 and 3 by 1. And again, you are getting log 3 base 3. Log 3 base 3, of course, it is again 1. So therefore, again, you can see 3 by 1 is 3, log 3 base 3 was 1, the final value of these logarithms. And then next, solve this one, log base 3, 1 plus 1 by 3, 1 plus 1 by 4, and so on, 1 plus 1 by 242. log base 3 of 1 plus 1 by 3 1 plus 1 by 3 is it plus okay plus again log base 3 1 plus 1 by 4 1 by 4 plus log base 3 of 1 plus 1 by 5 plus and so on plus log of 1 plus 1 by 242 base 3. Now first we will solve this LCM part. It will be 4 by 3 base 3 plus next uh, log base 3. It will be 5 by 4 and then it will be 6 by 5. If you do LCM, we are getting like this and so on. You can see the last number is 243 by 242 after doing LCM with base 3. So from all these terms, you can see log base 3 uh, with a, a continuous multiplication, right? Because log m plus log n plus log p, that means 
log of m into n into right so you can write as a product of the numbers and the last number is also together multiplied 243 by 242 and you can see 4 4 got cancelled 5 5 cancel so look at the cancellation pattern okay so in this way all the numbers got cancelled so after uh, cancellation all these numbers 243 by 3 again you can cancel 3 and 243 81 times with base 3 so 81 you know how to express that 3 power 4 base 3 of course it will be 4 log 3 base 3 of course then the answer is 4 and the next number is log base 10 tan r degrees r value 1 to up to 89 Sigma R value 1 to 89 degrees. And uh, the question log base 10. Log base 10 into tan of R degrees. So now. So sigma means we know that. Sigma means log base 10 tan 1 degree plus log base 10 tan 2 degree plus log base 10 tan 3 degree plus and so on plus log base 10 tan 89 degree okay so all logarithms has same base base 10 so that you can multiply the input values logarithms input what is logarithms input tan 1, tan 2. These are called logarithmic inputs. So you can multiply those values or those quantities together. And of course, in the mean somewhere, there is a tan 45. And after that, tan 46. And after that, you can see tan 89. And we know that 90 game. 90 game in trigonometry always we play 90 game i will show you one pair so look at look at here so tan 1 and tan 89 because all the things are in multiplication here okay don't worry so any two pairs you can do multiplication so see tan 1 into multiplied by tan 89 i will show you this counting and after that i will apply these properties uh, to all other terms. So tan 1, I am keeping the same. And tan 89, I would like to express tan 90 minus 1. Is it 90 minus 1? Can I express as 89? Yes. Okay. So therefore, tan 1. So I, uh, now I want to know tan of 90 minus theta is how much? Yes, it is a first quadrant. All trigonometric functions are positive, 90 minus theta. So 90 will change tan as cot. Now you can see tan 1 into cot 1 will be, of course, they are get got cancelled and the result is 1. So therefore, from this calculation, simple calculation, you understood that first and last quantities together, which are in multiplication, they got result 1. Uh, simultaneously, you can do um, the starting from the second number, ending from the second number, you, we got 1. And the product continues up to tan 45. Tan 45, of course, it is a middle number. Okay, so before tan 45 and after tan 45, if together, if you consider, I will show you one random number, tan 44 and tan 46. You can see 44 plus 46 is also, you can see 44, 46. It is a 90 game. So 90 means you can consider together, you, the result will be 1. So all ones are together multiplied and again you are getting 